Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll talk about asexual mode of reproduction in case of Clematomonas. Asexual reproduction takes place by formation of various kinds of spores and there are different types of spores produced dif during different conditions. So for example, zoospore formation takes place during favorable conditions. So these uh, reproductive structures, they are produced during favorable conditions. And this is the main method of asexual reproduction. For the first thing that happens is the chlamydomonas, that is the unicellular haploid organism, it withdraws the flagella. So flagella are withdrawn. So now it becomes a non-motile structure. Once the flagella are lost, the cell or the chlamydomonas organism becomes non-motile. And the protoplast, it undergoes division. And before that, even contractile vacuoles are lost. So flagella would be lost, contractile vacuoles would be lost. And now the structure is going to look like pretty much a circular structure. And the protoplast, that means... All the content which is inside this plasma membrane, it undergoes two to four mitotic divisions. And this results into formation of many, depending upon the number of division, it would result in formation of many structures. And suppose there are two divisions, then we would find two spores produced. If there are three divisions, we'll find four spores, sorry, one division will find two, two divisions will find four, three divisions will find eight, and four divisions will find 16. So inside this, there would be many such spores which would be produced. Now, when this cell, parent cell ruptures, these cells would be released, and each one is going to resemble a small chlamydomonas. That means they're going to develop the flagella. The parent cell is going to rupture, releasing the cells. And now these structures, they are the zoospores. The division was mitotic. Parent cell is haploid. So these zoospores, they are also haploid. And they would start leading their life in the form of a typical biflagellate haploid chlamydomonas. So this is how the asexual reproduction takes place by zoospore formation. The important thing is that these zoospores are produced only during favorable condition. Now what happens in unfavorable condition? In unfavorable condition, the structures which are formed, they are called aplanospores, hypnospores or achinids. But there is slight difference between these uh, three structures and they help in two things. They would help in reproduction as well as they would help in surviving during those adverse conditions. So here we are talking about the other three types of spores that is a planospore formation, then hypnospore formation or the third is known as a kinet formation. So these are the three spores. Now what happens in this case? Again, first flagella are lost, then contractile vacuoles are lost. So same thing is happening here. Now, after losing the flagella, Protoplast undergoes normally two divisions, but this number is variable. So there can be 
four cells which are formed. So now what is going to be seen here is, this is say the plasma membrane, this is the part which is going to divide and now inside this cell wall we would find say four spore-like structures and now there is a wall which is deposited. So now what kind of wall is deposited would give us three types of these spores. So if outside this wall there is a very thin layer, a thin layer is secreted around it, then those spores are known as aplanospores. So there is a thin wall which is secreted outside it. So it is going to help this structure survive in the adverse conditions. And these inner parts are again haploid because the division which has taken place is mitotic here also. So this is also mitotic division. If the layer which is secreted is a thick layer, then in that case, the structure is going to be, this is the cell wall and say there are four kind of four numbered spores and the layer which is produced or is secreted is a thick layer. But the color of the layer is not red. It is just any transparent translucent layer. Then this is a kinetic. A kinetic. But if the layer is thick and it is red, so then that type of spore is known as hypnospore. So these are the four hypnospores which are going to be produced and there is a thick layer which is deposited outside this and this thick layer is red. So it is thick red layer. And it is red due to presence of hematochrome. Now such spores are known as hypnospores. So there can be a thin wall which is secreted. There could be a thick wall which is not red. Then it is going to be a kinetic. And if the wall is red due to presence of uh, hematochrome, then the spore is known as hypnospore. But the condition that we have to remember here is that they are produced during unfavorable conditions. So this is the important part and zoospores are produced in favorable condition. Now what is going to happen after these unfavorable conditions are gone or when the favorable conditions return, then these thick walls, they break off and the spores would be released. They will develop their two flagella and they would act like these spores and would lead their life as haploid organs. So there can be a favorable condition, there can be unfavorable condition. Now there is one more condition which is called not so unfavorable condition but it is not a properly favorable condition also. In that case, there is a third stage which is produced. We'll take this up here. And it is known as Pamela stage. Or this is the structure which is formed when the conditions are not very favorable. So what happens is, again, the first few things are same. They would be losing their flagella. Contractile vacuoles would be lost. So now what we see is, a non-flagellated, non-motile structure. The protoplast undergoes again two, three or four divisions to form these spores and there are mucilaginous layers which are secreted and these layers are thick layers and because of which it looks like a very slimy structure. So Pamela stage is produced during not so favorable conditions, but the conditions are not called unfavorable also. So there are three situations where this asexual reproduction is seen. One is when the conditions are perfectly favorable, then zoospores are formed. When the conditions are perfectly unfavorable, that means there is nothing which is 
favoring them or which is beneficial for their growth. Then there are three possibilities. It could be a planospores, which are thin wall, and there are two thick wall spores which are produced. If the outer wall is not red, then they are called achinids. And if the outer layer is red due to hematochrome, then that is known as hypnospore. And if pamela stage is produced, that means if the conditions are not really very favorable, but not totally unfavorable, then they secrete mucilage around themselves. And they would this mucilage would help them withstand that unfavorable condition. Again, after the favorable conditions return, this mucilage would be lost and these spores would come out, they will develop their two flagella and would start leading their life in the form of haploid chlamydomonas. So these are three ways in which asexual reproduction in chlamydomonas is seen. In the next part, we'll talk about sexual reproduction and the life cycle in case of chlamydomonas.